What's up guys, welcome back. So in this video I am playing a table called Pitaco. Um, this is a table from a um, Spanish manufacturer called um, Juegos Populares from 1984 and this version is a VPX 8 version from JP Salas. Um, and uh, I've never played this table so this will be my first time playing it with you guys here. Um, there's not a lot that I could decipher from IPDB, um, because the instructions are in Spanish. I only know a little bit, <laughs> but, uh, I, but this table, just at the looks of it, is very, uh, it's very out there. I mean, the colors in the play field are, look like, almost like a, um, like, you know, kind of like artwork or graffiti almost, like graffiti art that you'd see, um, on like a building, which I like gives it that kind of old school flavor um also it's definitely not symmetrical so it keeps the the table um you know where the ball can move very interesting uh you have these two messenger balls pretty close to each other different shaped pop bumpers different pop bumper caps more squarish um square on the outside and they have like a little circular round cap um, and there's this little border in between them that looks like a, is that a spinner or a spot target? It's a, like a long spot target. You think about it, you know, spot targets, for the most part, have been like, you know, um, sh you know, shaped in the same way. But what if you could make a spot target very, you know, big? So it's like a huge, like three spot targets put together. Um, but in any event, let's go here. Also, you got an interesting, I think the rotating numbers on the right is like the match feature. Ooh, this table looks even better lit. Okay, and also look at this. Check this out. <laughs> look at the ball on the left hand side. You see the ball rail, ball guide is like a regular, you know, wire, right? It's like a regular um, wire, and then on the right you have an actual like border. So this is very out there, very. And then you look at you look at the right. The slingshot is totally different. It has it's like a trapezoid, right? And then you know on this the slingshot on the left is just kind of normal. Oh, that's a spinner. That's a huge spinner. See, you know how most, you know how usually spinners are square, just like a square piece? This is a rectangular spinner, I've never seen that. And there's no rules in pinball saying you can't do this or that. And that's what I love about pinball. It doesn't hurt to change things a little bit. Even if it's not by much. I wonder what's in the left. Is that a kick out hole? <clears throat> Here's the match feature. So we got a match. Isn't that cool? Last two digits. Let's go again here. Let's go. See, I didn't. I didn't have to. I didn't have to insert a, qu a quarter because I got the match. <laughs> Love that. The sounds on this table are a little weird, but they're different, and I like that. See how those posts keep the ball in play? Oh, the ball comes out from the other... From the, there's no kick out hole, it's just that you can't really see it because the passage is like a tunnel almost.
Feels so satisfying hitting that captive ball. Okay, the bank of drop targets reset. Okay, so I think when you complete the first bank of drop targets, it lights up the the green uh, special on the on the um, on the messenger balls for fifty thousand. Wow, that was pretty cool. That was a great ball one. So I, I probably I had an extra ball there. <coughs> oh, that's cool. I got that green. Oh, come on, man. Here's the match feature. Oh, no. Well, guys, thank you for watching play Pitaco from Juegos Populares. Um, really interesting table from 1984 from J.P. Salas. Thank you to J.P. Salas for um, adding this to the collection here. One of my favorite things about this table is got to be the artwork on the play field. Very different, very out there. Um, very colorful and just the little differences and nuances uh, in the mechanics I mean look how different the the left flipper is from the right flipper and underneath the right flipper you have like a like a border there and the left flipper you're just a ball guy so it's very different and I love that uh, whenever pinball machines can do that so until next time I'll catch you guys there take care